hour long song. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome to what promises to be a musical extravaganza slash clusterfuck of the highest caliber possible. Welcome. We want to say hi to everybody watching live on Eminem in Manhattan. Everybody watching at thechrisgethardshow.com as well as anyone who might be downloading this. In the future, we have a very strange show coming up tonight. As you already saw, we have many old friends and new friends who are already a part of this. We'll see how it goes, and we need you to be a part of it. So call us up at 212-757-1393. That's 212-757-1393. If you would like to participate in the hour-long song, we will be building momentarily. Just a couple things I want to get out of the way. First, just logistical stuff. First of all, Stellan, our fan from Sweden, he, uh, he might be on a plane right now. He arrives tomorrow. We cannot wait to see you, Stellan. We'll see you next week. I'll be in town. Can't wait to catch up, see how you're doing. Speaking of next week, one of our most popular shows ever is returning next week, and we need your help with it. We want to mention it live on the air right now. Last year, we did a thing called the Crowdsourced Character Contest. <laughs> next week, it will be coming back. It yielded, of course, the winner, the man who loves cream, but not too much cream. <laughs> People like Watermelon Cop, uh, Vampire Abraham Lincoln Co uh, Hunter, the, the mopey janitor with bad timing and a broken mop, the New Yorker writer who got fired for being too pretentious, all sorts of people. Ronk. Who will ever forget <laughs> Ronk in his one brief, strange appearance on the show? Anyway, uh, we're very, very happy to be mounting that uh, community outsourced competition slash celebration again, email us three names of characters to zero laughs at gmail.com, Z-E-R-O laughs at gmail.com. You can give us the names of the characters. Don't describe anything about the characters. Our writers will take those names, cast actors, figure out who those characters are. We're going to take 10 of them, put them on the show next week, and then you'll be able to vote to see who becomes a permanent cast member, right, man? The cream guy, he was pretty permanent. Uh, <laughs> but please, get involved with that. Let's make it happen. So as for tonight's show, we're doing something called the hour-long song. The rest of the show, starting as soon as I'm done talking, will be a musical, improvised piece of chaos. We're going to have you guys call in talk, sing, play instruments over the phone, be a part of it. We've invited a whole bunch of people to help us lead the charge on that. Of course, we have the LLC, our old friends, the leaders uh, of our, our house band, in that they entirely consist of that, that. That's who the house band is. We've got a whole bunch of the toys and tiny instruments in the house. We've got Carrie Ann from Bad Credit, No Credit, our old friend, and Mal Blum, all these people who are here to help lead the charge. We've also got an entire studio audience full of people in costumes, holding instruments, and we're just going to come and go and see what happens. We're going to see what we can all build together. So you're going to see a lot of people who you've never seen before play instruments on the show. You're going to see old friends trying new instruments for the first time. We'll see how it goes. And the way it's going to start is with a phone call. We're going to take one phone call, hear what you have to say. The music will start under your phone call, and your phone call will inspire however this thing kicks off. And then the only rule is that once this song starts, it doesn't stop. It will be one unbroken rock opera-like thing that has sections and peaks and valleys. But once we start, no stopping. No matter how big of a mess and mayhem it is, we'll find our way out of it on our feet. Let's go ahead. The guy who's going to inspire this whole thing with his initial call, Steve in Pittsburgh, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Um, you know, just calling in and being all excited that I'm the first call on an episode. You that's are. That's, that's good. You snaked Andres. So, Steve... I think uh, I think Mikey Erg, our old pal, he's going to start playing drums as you talk. What types of what's on your mind? What's going on in your life lately? This will inspire this entire ep the entire episode. So don't fuck it up. I just found out I'm allergic to beans, so I can't eat any bean burritos anymore. You're allergic to beans. That's probably the title of this hour-long song. Is allergic to beans. That's the title of the hour-long song. So what happens when you eat beans? My throat gets really scratchy and. Um, I just don't know what to do. Your throat um, gets scratchy. Is there? Is this a, a life-threatening ailment? Could you die from this? I haven't tested it yet to See? that degree. I still love my bean burritos. Okay. But I don't want to, you know, push it too far. So what's the worst reaction you've had to a bean thus far? Um, 
throwing up a little bit and then, you know, kind of getting really uh, high anxiety from just the reaction itself, so I went to bed. Okay. You've thrown up. You've gotten itchy. You don't know if you'll live or die. What's the worst I, type of bean? Do you know if some beans are worse than others? I don't know. I'm just going to say Taco Bell refried beans are probably the worst. Taco Bell refried beans are the worst. All right, Steve, thank you so much for kicking it off. You have titled our song tonight, Allergic to Beans. We hope you enjoy it.
from Chicago. Welcome to the show. Luke, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Luke, a mysterious man with an unidentified instrument is leading the charge right now. I want you to talk or sing over him in a way that's going to add to this momentous musical event. But, but Chris, I have my banjo. All right, Luke, start playing your banjo. Up, but I, I don't know. It might add some musicality to it. Can we give Joel okay. a beat to rap over? Please give me a beat. Okay, Joel, you're good. Let's do it. You got your beat. Okay. Shut, man. I'm a loose being. Oh, God. You know what that means? It's a black line of rock. Any of that beat. I know. Read us aloud. A rectum is about to bust right now. Go to the back. A being so diarrhea makes a big flash. All the things you have, they're the the science
The thunder tube is being received. Andres, you gotta sing that, or you gotta play this. And we have more thunder tube. I like that. How has cool. school been going, Andres? It's been pretty awesome because I'm out of school, but I think I failed my final. Have you been talking to girls? No, I have not because I'm a pussy. Andres. What yeah. do we have to do to get you to talk to a girl in song form right now? Is there any girl in our audience who will flirt with Andres right now on the air via song? Yes, come forward. Andres, I'm going to hook you up right now. Hi, Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Pamela. Pamela? This is Andres. Andres, step up. Hi, Andres. This girl while song plays. Hi. Andres, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm from Massachusetts. You're from Massachusetts? Yeah. Ooh, oh my God, you're getting me hot. I don't know why. Tell me more, what do you study in school? Are you a, do you study love? Do you no, study, study the art of seduction? What was that? Study English. English? Oh my God, what a coincidence. I was an English major. I majored in English. Good for you. That was rude. Was, um, we're over. Bye. To beans. Allergic to beans. We're allergic to beans. We're allergic to beans. Taco Bell beans, flirt with me. Taco Bell beans, flirt with me. Well, I. If a bee stings me, I'll swell all up, maybe go into an epileptic shock. But I eat beans. Have you ever been stung by a bee before? I have. What happened? Well, a little yellow jacket stung me on my foot. My foot swelled up to five times its size. That's when I found out I was allergic. And I was high as a kite when the doctor shot me up with all kinds of stuff.
I do is someone who's called apparently Turtle Bluegrass? Are you there? This is terrifying. Two one two seven five seven one three nine three. For the first time in about a year, we have no callers on the line. We have now one person who wants to participate in this. Two one two seven five seven one three nine
Justin in Texas. Welcome to the show. Justin, are you there? I'm right here. Okay. My life is doing pretty good this summer. We're listening, man. The floor is yours. I can't really sing, but I'm trying my best. Go for it, Justin. Yes. Put your heart into it. Vacation Jason believes in you. I believe in you. Texas. Thank you. Texas is Very an much. island. I hit the way my hair looks today. That was amazing. Do more. Thank you very much. I'm afraid I'm going to go bald one day. I got a mane of hair, and you know, I really don't care. I wish it was short. I wish it was long. But most of all, I wish you could just wear some wigs. Ooh. She's the whole thing off and wear some wigs. Damn, son. A different wig Fuck. every day. Pink, white, black, blue. I don't care if I look like a whore. I don't care just anymore. A new change in my life would be good. To shave my head off, I would love. You got lyrics, son. And then, believe it or not, this is on the spot. I'm trying not to rap, but yeah, they said enough that way. Oh, my God. I really don't have much more to say. I'll let you go to the next color. Floor is yours. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to say. But Liz, I'm gonna we do all anything. believe in you. Don't be nervous. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just had my finals and I think that I failed a couple. And... You didn't fail, shit. Liz, what was that? I didn't hear any of your response. <laughs> I said I didn't fail shit. Well done. And I ate all of them. I'm glad we turned you around, Liz. Thank you for the call. We're going to go to Harry in Pennsylvania. Hey. <laughs> Harry, is that you? Yeah, I'm trying to sing along right away. Sorry. No, go for it, man. Go for it. I didn't mean to interrupt. Do it. Collaborating right now with our, our friend Mal Brooks. Yeah, Baltimore. You're shouting out Baltimore. Do you want to do a Baltimore mashup right now? Oh man! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 Bye. 
Joe, you're going to talk while this guy plays a giant paper mache hand. <laughs> Allie, are you there? Hello? Yes, yes. Oh, this is Allie. Who's this? Andres again. Andres again? Yeah. What, why are you calling again, man? I don't know. I called him by accident. Now I'm on. You called him by accident, and then what, you just stayed on the phone? No, I straight to this. I didn't get anybody coming to I'm on hold. So you were just holding a phone up to your head? Yeah, I would just, I don't know. Andres, you sound panicky. I want to encourage you to calm down. It's the second verse. I can't. I feel like my heart is going to It's the second verse. God. It's going to be awkward. This is so hippie-ish. That was my stomach. You're a very punk rock blues. human being, and this must offend every sensibility you have. That was my stomach. Playing the is this, a, this is not a good 40 minutes of your life so far. You're mad at me. A little <laughs> bit. How is you? But... <laughs> 
Queen. Jules in New York, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, Jules. What's new? Uh, Backstreet Boys. Old school is new. Backstreet Boys? Yeah, wait. Now I'm standing here with my friend Carrie. Can't from Bad Credit. No credit. She's not having fun. Your heart. Yeah, I think that's in sync. Let's go to Sam. Hey. Sam, how are you? Hey, Chris. This is uh, Sam. I do art sometimes for your show. Thank you for doing art for our show sometimes, Sam. <laughs> I know uh, Kind of Riley. You know for, Kind uh, of vacation. Riley. Uh-huh. That's so, good. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm a little nervous because it's the first time I actually got through on the show. Sam, don't be nervous. There is literally no way you can fuck up this show. It would be ab absolutely impossible. Sam wants it to be more punkish. Yeah. Sam wants more punk. Fuck Hold on. Stuff, and stuff like that. How's that, Sam? Perfect. Make some monster though. Another old friend of ours took a cab and came here. And now a vocal solo by Laura Stevenson. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Laura. Oh, it's so good to be here tonight. Thank you. I almost died in the cab. What happened in the cab? It was a really crazy cab ride. How so? The driver was driving really fast because I told him I was late to a TV show. <laughs> and you took that way too seriously. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got here safe. Me too. Me too. <laughs> this show's been really weird for 42 minutes, and I think this might be the weirdest part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm glad you're here, Laura. Let's join in as we go to James. James, take it. It's yours. 
It's a blues number now. We were at the beach. Everybody had matching clothes. Somebody went under a rock. And there they saw a rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was a rock lost. A rock lost. A rock lost. This is the part of the show where I talk to a guy named Lee in California while only Omar plays. Omar, it's me and you, man. You're the heart of the show. I was gonna go. You're still gonna do that, Lee. Do it. talk on the phone to a guy named Shmevin? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Shmevin, you're going to talk to this very shy girl with the shaker. Shmevin. Hello? Yes, Shmevin, Hello welcome. Hello there. Hi, Shmevin. To the shy girl with the shaker. Hello. Hello? Is How this the you? first time you've played shaker on television? Yes. First time i played shaker. Oh, it works better if you shake it. Shmevin, you're being a real fucking creep. Shmevin is a creep. What kind of name is Shmevin? The shy girl wants to know what kind of name is Shmevin. It's, uh, it's an American name. Hold on, let's kill every instrument. Shmevin, what is your deal? <laughs> Shmevin, what's No the... deal. Shmevin, what is the deal? No deal. Hi, hi, Dad. 
<laughs> this is not your dad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Are you Riley's dad? No. Riley is claiming that you are. <laughs> Riley, you have to come back out here and handle this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Riley, is this actually your father? This is my dad, and now I embarrassed him. But yeah, he's being a little bit of a weirdo, yeah. Hi, Dad, what's up? Vacation, Jason. Oh, there we go. Hey, man. We're having hey. a, tense, a tense father son moment. Says to a collectively given music piece. Schmeppy, you said you're not Riley's dad. Why is that? Hi, Dad. What? He, he doesn't want to embarrass me, but he, uh, he kind of did. Now, how, do you, how do you know this is your father? Because his name, his name is Kevin. It's, he goes by Schmevin. I can see right through you, Dad. I know all your little tricks. Now, it seems like you're mad at your dad. I'm not mad at all. You seem frustrated. I'm a little weirded out. I'm not. You talk I'm about not. Oh, yeah, about twice a week. Ha Happy Father's Day, by the way. I was going to mail him something, but I, I got busy. Son. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Now, Kevin, is there anything genuine you want to say to your son, who's a great part of this show, on the air? A genuine I'm moment. I'm so proud of him for being with such a good friend, Chris Gethard. What? What's that, what's that Schmevin? One more time, Dad. I'm very proud of him for being with such a good friend named Chris Gethard. Oh, boy. All right. Wait, where are you going? We're not done talking to your dad. There's nine minutes of this show left, and no, I think most no, of it should be you talking to your dad. All right, all right, all right. The epic ending. So tell us something about Riley from when he was young that would surprise our viewing audience. They've never seen Riley as Riley before. Once or twice. He's always been a great musician. He's always been a great musician. Thank you. What's his instrument of choice? He likes the... Uh... He likes to pick up anything he can get his hands on. He likes to pick up anything he can get his hands on. Well, we've got a lot of things. Okay, Mark Levy is handing you a banjo. Oh, I'm allergic to banjo. Schmevin, you're being... Still being a weirdo. I don't know how to play banjo. When you all know the words to this, I want you to all join in. All right? I'm going on down to Texas, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Schmeggen, build you're me you're still a... on the line? <laughs> <laughs> OK, sorry. I'm going on down to Texas, and I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to build a giant bean factory just to burn it down. <laughs> 
I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. I'm gonna build a bean factory just to burn it down. Fish, what's on your mind? Versus. <laughs> Who wins? Stevenson for almost killing herself in a cab to get here. I want to thank Malbum for letting me put her on the spot. I want to thank the Toys and Tiny Instruments for clearly being the guiding force beyond us. I want to thank Ren Melissa. I want to thank Mimi. I want to thank the guy dressed as Spider-Man taking pictures. I want to thank the Hungry Man Fish. And I want to thank all these people who came out here and played these instruments tonight. I want to thank you most of all, Don Finelli. Fuck you, beans. Fuck you, beans. Fuck you, beans. Fuck you, beans.
Oh, fuck you, bees. 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 Fuck you, bees. It was all a dream. It was all a dream. You were there, and 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 you were there. Fuck you. Tom, the show's been over for two minutes. (laughs) (laughs) That was a performance that redefined music, and I want to thank everybody for being part of it. Oh, the bow was the weirdest part. (laughs) (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.